RED S stands for Relative Energy Deficiency in Sport, and basically it means not getting enough cal calories in for how much is being expended during exercise. So they're different in that the female th triad first was coined in the 1990s and referred to the center relationship between menstrual dysfunction, low energy availability, and poor bone health. Mm -hmm. REDS actually incorporates the triad, but then talks about other health and performance consequences and also applies to men. Other types of endocrine dysfunction, thyroid dysfunction, metabolic issues, decreasing the metabolic rate, GI issues, cardiovascular issues, immune dysfunction, they're really 10 different aspects of the REDS health performance wheel. So the other wheel is the performance wheel, and that's really talking about decreases in performance regarding decreased endurance activity, decreased recovery from activity, more injuries, and so it also has 10 aspects. Well, there is a Red S CAT. It's a clinical assessment tool that's published in the British Journal of uh, sports medicine from 2015 and it gives various things that people should be at a lookout for. So people who have dropped weight, people who are on specific diets, people who have a decrease in energy, people who have eating disorders, people who have menstrual dysfunction or a decrease in libido. So there are various aspects that are sort of flagged in that clinical assessment tool. So people are at risk of red ass anytime during their training. It can happen during the season, it can happen during training. Really, it's good to be tracking athletes and seeing if there's any changes in what's going on with them. So changes again with their menstrual function, changes in their performance, and it can happen at any time during the season or out of the season.